In this video, I want to show you how to create a digital card sort via Google Slides. So normally in our classes, there are a lot of teachers that use card sorts as a formative assessment, but with trying to go paperless, we've been looking for options to create these digital card sorts using different apps. And so this video is going to show you how to use Google Slides. So in a digital card sort, if you are not familiar, what you have is you have some sort of prompt or question and you have to sort everything appropriately. And so what I've done here is I've created this digital card sort where on this slide, notice that I can't click on anything except for these pictures and then where I want my students to type their response. And so I'm gonna show you how you can make this a background of the slide so that students cannot edit anything except for the pictures and the text box. So for this question, I had created a Google drawing. So when you are in your Google Drive, you can go to new and then more and drawings. And what I did within Google Drawings is I tried to make this canvas the same size as a Google slide. And so you'll notice it's about 10 by five and a half. And so what I did in this Google Drawing is this is where I edited the question. So I put the question, I gave instructions, and then I even put this box where I will eventually insert the text box. So once you have this picture, what you can do is you can go to file, download, and I recommend downloading it as a PNG. When you download it as a PNG, it's a little bit more uh, high quality than a JPEG. And so I've just downloaded the PNG. And what I want to do in Google Slides is I'll go ahead and click on new and a blank slide. And now I just have this blank slide. So what I wanna do is change the background. So you can either click on the background button up here, or you can right click and go to change background. Then you'll go to choose image. And here is where you will look for the image that you just downloaded. So I have it down here in my downloads. I can drag and drop it, or I can go to browse and I can look for it on my computer this way. So I'll click on open and then I'll click on done. And now again, nothing here can be clicked. And then if I want students to answer the question here, I'll go ahead and insert a text box and I will just drag the text box the same size as this shape. And then I like just typing click here to respond or click here to type your response. And then now students will be able to click here. And to insert all of these structures that I put in, these are just pictures. And so what I did is I just found each of these structures that I wanted. And then when you have each one, you'll just go to insert image and you'll just drag them off to the side.